Hey guys, what is up? This is Private Mittens, and once again, I'm here to continue my series of game series that I like to see return. Um, let's get down to business. I'll be doing Advance Wars. Now, before we get started, Advance Wars is actually a spin off to another series called the War series, and so is Battalion Wars, but I will be talking about Advance Wars itself because I think it is the series' best. I think a lot of people would agree with that anyway, and it's the one I do want to see return. Um, let's get started. Advance Wars was released for the Game Boy Advance back in 2001 to really good reviews. It's sitting on a 92% on Metacritic, so that shows it's AAA beyond. That's actually a very good review for a handheld game that's not Mario or Zelda. Um, then we got Advance Wars Black Hole Rising for the Game Boy Advance in 2003. This is sitting at an 89% on Metacritic. Once again, really good review. Then we get Advanced Wars Jill Strike for the DS, released in 2005 at a 90% on Metacritic, and it's also my favorite. Um, Advanced Wars Days of Ruin was the final one released. This was for the DS, this was released in 2008. This is sitting on an 86% on Metacritic. Yes, it's the lowest rated in the series, but it's still a AAA score. So, as you can see, the whole series is very highly rated. Uh, reviewed and regarded by fans and critics alike now a quick uh quick uh, information on the game before i go to my thoughts their turn-based strategy game very similar to uh heroes of might and magic or xcom or valkyria chronicles so for anyone that doesn't know you essentially pick a unit moves them on a grid or in an area until their movement is finished then you go to the next unit it's not like command and conquer or any you know starcraft or any of that there um now let's actually get to how i got into the series now as a, for anyone that doesn't know it's a nintendo only series but i was a huge rts guy growing up as a kid in the 90s i put it this way i owned a Mega Drive, a 64, and a PlayStation 1, right? But I never really played them, only for a few games, like Crash Bandicoot, a few others, you know, Sonic, you know, stuff like that there. But when it came to the PC, I was always playing Command & Conquer, June, Warcraft, Total Annihilation, Dark Reign, Crossfire, KKND, you know, you name an RTS, and I was probably playing it at that time. And I'd never played the Advanced War series. Now when I moved to the UK and I met Devil, he wanted to get into RTS games because let's be honest, there really is no RTS games on the uh, consoles. Even back on the PS1, all you really had was a few PC ports like Command & Conquer in June and Warcraft 2. But uh, he wanted to get into RTS games. So I said to him, okay. So I got him into Command & Conquer. I got him into a few other games. I think it was Total Annihilation and uh, War of the Worlds. But uh, then I showed him Heroes of Might and Magic. For anyone that doesn't know, it's a fantasy turn-based RTS. It's a spin-off to the uh, Might and Magic series. And he loved it. And he was like, this reminds me of Advance Wars. And I'm like, what the hell is Advance Wars? And so he lent me the... Uh, Jill Strike for the DS. It was the first one I ever played, so yeah, I came into this series very like Jill Strike must have been about a year old when he lent me it. So I fell in love with Jill Strike. I like no joke. I would put that game at least in my top ten RTS games ever made. It is a phenomenal RTS, and I love this game. And I went and bought the others to play, of course, um, and I fell in love. That's how I got into the series. Now, what I would like to see from the series added to it, I think the series needs online, because it's never had it, and I I do believe it needed it. Um, I think the series also needs customizable characters. Now, the series has like an anime aesthetic. Keep that aesthetic, that's fine, but go with like a, you know, customize the character's look, you know, all that there, and then, you know, all that shit and for anyone that hasn't played this series before you essentially every character has an ability one character could have like your units get a, a speed buff uh, you know buff 
one could make your units stronger for a certain amount of time the other can make your units like all units that are damaged you know get repaired um it's similar to like a super move in you know like a fighting game or something have like make your own character and you know you can choose like a certain special move and put it on your character you know something like that there also a 3d world now the game is a 2d rts which it looks very you know you know a 90 style design that's what it was looked, supposed to look like that's fine but i think they should go into a 3d environment it can still remain turn based give it like you know the XCOM treatment hell Fraxis games the ones that do XCOM they'd be a great ideal developer to get you know to actually work on this I mean if Nintendo's willing to work with Ubisoft on a Mario RPG there is no excuse or I'm sorry a Mario XCOM game but there is no excuse for Advance Wars to not be made by that developer and we haven't seen this game this series in nine years I'm surprised we didn't get a 3DS release and the series has never really made it to the consoles before like the spin like the main series which was called Wars did way back on the Famicom but the Advanced Wars series has always been a handheld series why it never made it to 3DS I do not know and I think it would be a great idea since the Wii U is not in you know getting any games anymore the Wii U would have been a great you know platform for the game to actually go on you know they could have done with the dual screens kind of thing switch would be a great system to put this on too because it's a portable system you know boasting all that kind of stuff advanced wars needs to come back i mean more units more abilities customizable characters customizable maps too actually give it you know like that crowd you know map editors you got way back in the day for you know the command of conquerors you know here's my magic shit like that and just overall a really good story along the lines of say battalion wars but uh that's all i could think of oh no 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 there's a, actually is a couple of other things as i said for the online right how about give it with the online you know you can share maps you know share customizable characters you know like other games like say like halo did with you know it's forge maps along the lines of that where you can share it with other people um customize the uh you know the camouflage of your units you know if you want to go into war with a pink army why not you know just some you know run it doesn't have to be realistic kind of thing but yeah that's all i've really got to say guys i was really hoping for advanced wars to be at e3 but unfortunately nintendo is just tossers but anyway really hope you enjoyed this video and i do apologize as i said before that it's taken a while for me to do another video i've just been really busy this past week but anyhow this is private mittens hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you next video take care guys see you later